It is a mix of biology, mechanics, and motion. At Stanford University, mechanical engineers have come up with a work in progress called the Sticky Bot. The biodynamics program had a climbing robots. We wanted to send robots anywhere uh, into any environment. Climbing robots was really a new challenge. And so uh, we wanted to climb different surfaces, hard, tree, um, outside buildings, glass, whatever we wanted. There are two things that allow the Sticky Bot to climb vertical surfaces. One, it's unusual mechanical agility. We work in a lab that's basically focused on bio-inspiration. So we saw real climbing animals like geckos. Geckos do something else special. They have sticky feet, adhesive pads, unlike any other animal, which the engineers have recreated. We are focusing on just making the adhesives on a robot because it's very difficult to fabricate a large, a large amount of adhesive. Like the gecko, the sticky bot has to have a tail, loading the weight, making the adhesive pads stick to the surface. Then when we put the tail on, what that does is it decreases the load that the feet have to bear. And now sticky bot can climb. And making it move all in the right direction, all those little blinking lights, each one represents a small, separate motor. There are 19 of them to move the sticky bot. We can have robots climb for uh, inspection or for surveillance. Also, since they work in a vacuum, we can use them out in space. So we can have robots that um, do space exploration or even cling to the side of the space shuttle. Sometimes, science is just a matter of making something stick. Stanford University. Number two. Number three. Number four.
Number 5 Number 6 Number 7 Scalebot is an open source quadruped robot built for outdoor urban terrain. Using only onboard sensing and computation, Scalebot can autonomously climb a variety of stair sizes and geometries with adaptive error correction and automatic transitions between walking and climbing. The walking gait is able to traverse a range of slopes and can robustly overcome irregularities in the terrain. The robot utilizes an ultrasonic sensor and two tactile sensors to locate and measure the stairs, as well as two tactile sensors at the back to determine position on the stair. These sensors allow the robot to perform outdoors, which is an improvement on limited sensing methods such as infrared and connect. Number 8 RoboTerp 3 is the third generation of the University of Maryland's robotic Terrapin series. RoboTerp 3's new 3 degree of freedom joints enable faster swimming and better maneuverability. Unlike other amphibious robots, RoboTerp 3 has the ability to swim against current. The rotational shoulder joint mimics a real turtle by allowing RoboTerp to transition from swimming to walking. Number 9 
Entry into aquatic environments through the surf zone is particularly difficult for amphibious robots. A new surf zone robot is inspired by horseshoe crabs, which are built for effective surf entry with minimal mass and power. The walking gate was developed from the mechanics of horseshoe crab walking, which uses the vacuum form shell for support and the legs for propulsion in granular media. In the event that the wave forces or turbulence invert the robot, it is able to dynamically sense and correct its orientation on regular and irregular surfaces using its telescope. This ability for reliable movement through dynamic and previously limiting environments will increase the reliability and applicability of future amphibious robots. Number 10. Here he comes. This is my chimp. He's Zoomer Chimp. And yes, he's a little wild. Whoa. I've taught him a few tricks. Check it out. Zoomer Chimp, stand up. How amazing is that? With Zoomer Chimp, I'm in total control. Follow me. Except when I tell him to. Go bananas. OK, now you're just showing off. Zoomer Chimp from Spin Master.